hard on something to give us an idea, give us some perspective of how much rain we got in such a short period yeah, of time. Yeah, tell us what you've learned, Bill. So when we look at it yesterday, good evening, guys, good evening, everyone. It was so much liquid, and it wasn't just here in D.C. It was from Hagerstown right down 270, down through the district and into Charles County. But what I wanted to do was just focus in specifically inside the beltway. So here's the beltway that goes around. So I took a square of this area. The average precip yesterday, and this was basically over an hour or two, was 2.4 inches. I then looked at the distance and said, okay, that's roughly 336 square miles in this zone. So how much water is that? And it is a monster number. It is over 14 billion gallons. So the question is, how much water is that in the real world perspective? We could say Olympic sized swimming pools and it fills up, you know, so many. I it put it out from here to the Mississippi essentially is how long those would stretch. But what I wanted to do was put it locally and say, Okay, let's look at the National Mall, for example. So I have it here on the table. So we start, got the Lincoln Memorial, this end. Here's the Washington Monument. We come down here, the U.S. Capitol. If we could somehow take the National Mall and put walls and kind of harness in that area, it's a total of roughly 480 acres. If we took that and we took the rain that fell, again, just inside the Beltway, we're not talking about the entire DMA, what would that equal? So I'm going to zoom this on in for you. I'll kind of walk on in. We're looking down 23rd Street here northwest. That's, of course, the Lincoln Memorial. It would be up and equal 89.6 feet. It would nearly cover the Lincoln Memorial. We work our way down the mall over to the Washington Monument, which, of course, the monument's high. It's 555 feet. This would take it up about a fifth of the monument. All those flags that are around, they would all be gone. We take it down a little bit uh, farther down the mall. The, the museums, all of those would practically be underwater. Nearly every building would be underwater at, at 90 feet. And then the U.S. Capitol here, the U.S. Capitol is 288 feet, so it wouldn't cover that, but it would cover all of that lower area. That would be underwater again. That is how much liquid fell yesterday. If we could harness that within the beltway, it would be 89.6 feet. Pretty remarkable stuff, guys. We'll send it back over to you. Holy wow, cow. that's amazing, and it puts it in perspective. Right. You know, it's wow. A lot of water. Thank you, Bill. So just.